Welcome everyone. As you've seen by the title, today we are going to be interviewing British college girls to see how attractive they find various guys. Lined up we have Austin Dunham, the normie from my Tinder experiment, Men's Maxing from my other experiment, TikTok e-boy Damien Cater, Nero Angelo, and lastly Gerbert Johnson. We are going to be asking the girls if they would date these guys long term, have them for one night, friend zone them, or tell them to get lost never in a million years. Make your prediction below, let's see who does the best. Welcome, we've got our first two guests here today. I am joined by... Alice, Emily, Katrina, Eleanor, Hannah, Jess, and Ella, Imogen, Jess, another Jess. <laughs> another Jess, Jess 3, this one. This is our first man. What are your initial thoughts? Very attractive. I'd agree. What about him is attractive? He's got a nice smile. I love a bit of facial hair. Okay, so the smile, the facial hair, anything else about him? What do you think about like the professionalism of these photos? I think I just assumed he was already a model and those are just the best photos of him to use. Yeah, I kind of like a bit of a like blurry casual pic though. I'd give him probably like an eight and a half out of ten. What things do you think is attractive about him? Uh, I like his tattoos and he's got a really nice smile and he's obviously got a good figure. Looks a bit too modelly, like he looks a bit, I don't want to say pretentious, but kind of pretentious, like a bit too... Um, feels like he would be out of everyone's league kind of thing. Uh, like he's very well dressed, but again, I think that kind of doesn't do him any favors because it feels a bit too like posy. Like he's put in a bit too much effort. Yeah, attractive. Yeah, attractive. Yeah, he's fit. What about him do you think is attractive? Muscles and pretty face. Again, face, yeah. Yeah, I really like his hair. It's nice. I don't like that shirt. The red one, you don't like his red shirt. What's wrong with the red shirt? He looks like he's about to go on a farm or something. Yeah, he's decent. <laughs> Out of these three photos, what is your favourite one? The one with the tattoos, the last one. The shirtless one, that's that's your favourite one. So what about the shirtless pic do you like? Oh, I just like his tattoos. You like his tattoos. Do you think it complements his body? Yeah, definitely. Imagine if a guy has that body, but sort of average face, maybe my face. What would you think of that? Uh, well, then I think it just goes to personality, really. Like. So if he has a good personality, that would make up for it? Yeah, I mean, the body's a bonus, but I still think the face is most important. What do you think? What Do you think face or body? Uh, I don't like skinny boys. <laughs> you don't like skinny boys, so um, you, you need a good body in a man? No, not necessarily a good body. They just can't be a stick. Face is definitely important, more important than body, but they just can't be skinny. You've got four options. Either date long term, one night, friend zone, or never. I'd probably say friend zone. <clears throat> be friend zone. Both friend zone. This, I'm confused now, because at the start you said he was really attractive. It seems like you kind of flipped that on its head, so. I have a boyfriend. It would be friend zone. <laughs> I'd probably say one night, because that's not the type I go for, but he's good looking. I think friend zone. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on a second, you said that he was attractive, but now you're saying friend zone. He doesn't look, he's not my type at all. I just think, I can just tell he, that someone's attractive. Yeah, I'm gonna go one night. Yeah. He's fit, but like, it wouldn't be anything long term. Why one night and not date long term? He just looks like a bit of a player. Like he's he's vain, he knows he's good looking. Yeah. So I just don't think he's in it for the long run, to be honest. One night, friend zone him. Is he your type? He's my type. <laughs> so he's your type and he's an eight out of 10. This is what I'm finding hard to understand. So what about him makes you not want to date him then? I don't know, I just don't want to date him. Date long term. Yeah, I'd fight Jess and date long term. <laughs> Moving on to the second person. What are your your thoughts about this man? What do you think when you've first seen his photos? I like the dog. <laughs> you like the dog? Oh, so you got nothing to say about the man, but the dog you like, okay. I mean, he, yeah, he looks nice. He's just not really my type. What if I told you that this guy is very tall? I believe he's six foot three. Honestly, no. <laughs> his dog, I like his dog. You like his dog? Anything about him <laughs> though? <laughs> I like his hair. Attractive? Yes, I do. Yeah. That was a little bit unenthusiastic. I have to pick up on that one. It was like, like yeah. He looks like a lovely man. He looks like a lovely man. I don't know if that's, that's kind of like in the gray area between attractive and date worthy. And... Nice personality. Oh no, you brought out that one. <laughs> Interview terminated. I'd be his friend, but like he's not really my type. What is your type? My type is tall, ginger, rugby boy. Oh, I'm probably too slim for that. <laughs> he's cute. The dog is a selling point. A dog is always a good thing to... Wait, he's cute or the dog is cute? No, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I would say 
seven out of ten. What if I told you that he's six foot three? I'd go up to an eight. So he's a seven, but with the height, he's an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if he was say um, like eight inches shorter? If he was say like five foot six or five foot seven, would he be down marked to a five or six? If he was the same height as me, which is five eight, is would stay the same. But any shorter than me, immediately not even on my rating. I won't even consider it. You mentioned he's quite cute. Do you think? guys like being told that they look cute or is that a bit effeminate? I mean, would they rather be called ugly? <laughs> like, I don't think it's effeminate. I think it's quite high praise from a woman to be called cute, but it's also a bit friend zone -y, so I don't know. It's a bit friend zone -y, yeah. Most guys would rather be called hot, handsome, good looking, etc. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. But then again, there's nothing wrong with being effeminate. I mean, like, it's not that bad. Would you date effeminate men? Yeah. Yeah. I Maybe not full on wearing a skirt out and about effeminate because it's just not my preference but if they're a little bit effeminate i wouldn't mind date long term one night friend zone or never friend zone <coughs> friend zone friend zone provided he had a good personality would he be creeping into the date or one night category yeah a date probably good personality potentially date yeah so so i'll take that as a date Friend zone. Friend zone. Uh, he's friend zoned. Yeah, friend zoned. I think if I didn't have a boyfriend, I'd probably go on a couple of dates with him and see how it goes. Yeah. Now moving on to our th uh, third person. What are your thoughts on this man? Ooh. He's a very tight white top. He's very like prim and proper. Uh, he looks like he loves himself a lot. Yeah, I was about to say he looks quite arrogant, but he's he's like a pretty boy. Like he's he's attractive. But I feel like he knows he's attractive. What about his? photos and appearance makes him look arrogant the tight white <laughs> shirt every single photo is like very clean and like yeah posed and like obviously the last one looks like he does modeling which makes me think arrogant <laughs> yeah lit literally the same like i think it's a tight white shirt <laughs> and the posing and how about if you saw this guy on tinder swipe right or swipe left swipe right is i find him attractive i want to date him i just think he was a catfish but i probably still swipe right <laughs> and what do you think I probably would swipe right. He's, he's attractive. He is attractive. Yeah, you mentioned earlier that you like muscular guys. Is this the ideal body for you? Like, it is good muscular, but I feel like maybe a little bit too muscular. Again, it does really depend on the person. But I feel like someone who's got that much self-care is probably a bit arrogant again. What do you find attractive is about his appearance? Like, you rated him an 8 out of 10. What do you like? Uh, I like his skin tone. He's got a bit of like a more olive skin tone. I like his hair colour. I think as he got blue eyes, the brown hair, blue eyes combo, I really like it. Very posed and quite, yeah, very starey. Is that the word? <laughs> yeah. Just his eyes very staring into your soul there. A bit, a bit creepy. Guys, very much would dislike being told that. Why is he creepy? His eyes are always too nice. Isn't they're just so beautiful, I couldn't look at them long enough. Besides those words you've used, attractive? Yeah. If you find him attractive, then what's kind of like making him not so much of a good vibe? He looks like too much of a gym lad for me. A gym lad? Yeah, he looks like too much of one. Do you think his body's attractive though, nonetheless? I actually don't think so. I think it's too much. Yeah, a bit too much. He looks Spanish or like, yeah, that's like my type. Tall, dark, handsome, like tanned. Yeah. He's attractive, yeah. Not my type, but he's definitely attractive. Yeah, he's definitely attractive, but he's he's too he's too pretty. He he knows his angles. It's not for me. What do you think of his body? Do you think his body is attractive? I think for me it's like too much. There's too much muscle, but it's very attractive still. No, I think he's I like his body, yeah. He's very like lean, he's not too much. But again, you can tell he spends a lot of time in the gym. He's just a bit too muscly. Do any of you three girls go to the gym? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, fair enough. I think we've seen that earlier in the day that the more that if a girl goes to the gym, she's more likely to find this particular guy attractive. Right, so the four options again for this man. One night, date, friend zone, or never, what are we saying? Probably never. Never, and you? Yeah, never. Probably never. Never, ooh. Never. <laughs> Not even... You'd say... I'd feel intimidated. One night. <laughs> one night, I like it. And what about you? One night. <laughs> Both saying one night for this guy. I think between one night or date, between those. I'm going to hold you on that one. you got to be specific now if you had to choose. I tend not to do one night, so I'll go with date, but yeah. <laughs> date long term. One night. Yeah, one night. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, you said it, okay. <laughs> if it wasn't one night, what would it be instead? Never, to be honest. I don't... Not even worthy of the friend zone. He doesn't look like a friend. <laughs> he doesn't look like a friend. Now moving on to the next person. What are your thoughts about this guy? 
Not really my type, but I can appreciate he's probably good looking to other people. Are they real tattoos? I think so. Actually, no, they must be fake because he hasn't got them in the other po photos. If he had the tattoos, I'd rate him a little bit higher. I got a feeling he's your type. I actually think he's like way better looking than the last guy. He's a bit of a pretty boy, but I just think he's more attractive. Like I like his hair. Who do you prefer, this pretty boy or the previous guy who was more like masculine, rugged? Ooh, he looks really skinny, so I'd have to go with tight white shirt. So you prefer the hyper the hyper masculine guy and you prefer the pretty boy yeah definitely him what features do you like besides the hair because you've already mentioned that what features do you like about him he's got a nice looking face like yeah he is pretty he's got nice eyes he's got nice lips yeah nice lips and i really like when guys wear like those kind of pearl chains um he in my opinion is much more my type so i would probably give him like maybe even a nine i like his hairstyle a lot and i like the hair color um, and whilst they do look a bit modelly, they look like he's taken him, them himself maybe, like he hasn't had a professional camera, a professional photographer come over. He looks like a TikToker. He is a TikToker, well identified, he's he's a TikTok e-boy. Yeah, I mean he's good looking, but I do not like TikTokers, they're way too full of themselves. Mm. He's, he's trying too hard to be like edgy. My 14 year old sister would be in love with them. Big fan. You really like him, how can you see personality through photos? It's from like the jewelry he's wearing, his haircut, he doesn't give a shit what other people think. You know, I like it. Honestly, I think he's a bit too cool for me. He looks like he cares a lot about his appearance and his style, and I don't really. <laughs> attractive? Yeah, yeah, attractive. Again, with the four options, one night, date long term, friend zone or never, what are you guys saying? Friend zone. Definitely date long term. Friend zone. Friend zone. <coughs> I think I'd have to friend zone him. <coughs> one night. One night again. Wow, I thought you would say date for this man. That's... You've thrown me off here. Friend zone. One night. I'd probably say friend zone just to make fun of him. Because I just think he just needs to wake up. Like, you don't look like that. I think one night, I think if I dated him, he looks a bit too emo. That he might be a bit difficult in a relationship. So I think one night, probably. Next person. What do you think about this man? Again, with the professional photos. Uh, he He's still an attractive guy. That hairstyle, the third one, just not suit him the other two are better so you prefer the long hair to the short hair i prefer short hair in general but that short ha haircut is just not it <laughs> i don't like his little soul patch i don't know what you'd call it um but he's got really nice shaped eyebrows and like a nice kind of eye line not quite hitting the box for me so i'd give him maybe like a six and a half do you prefer him with longer hair or shorter hair longer hair longer attractive he looks like 2014 no not my type yeah i don't i don't know i don't think he's attractive it looks like his mum's dressed him to be honest so the question again out of the four options for this man either date long term one night friend zone or never what are we saying Probably never. I'd probably say never because it looks too rich for me. Never. Never. One night. Friend zone. Yeah, friend zone. I think friend zone. Friend zone. Friend zone and? Friend zone. Both saying friend zone. Okay. Now moving on to the final guy that we have lined up today. What do you think initially about this person? I would also give him a six out of 10. I like his hairstyle a lot. I really like the kind of curly hair and he's got really nice eyes, but his nose is a little, little bit big. He's cute. He's cute. He's also cute. So not handsome. <laughs> you can say it. He's cute. Is he handsome? Yes or no, is he handsome? Yes. He is handsome. Cute, cute handsome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He's okay. You like him? No. Is he the, you don't like him? He's all right. He's, he's okay. No, absolutely not. He looks a bit young. I don't like his style. Not mature enough. Not mature enough, yeah. His, his features are too soft. I think he's attractive. I think he's really attractive, yeah. He looks nice. He's, I like his photos. He looks friendly. Um, um, I like the photos a lot more because you can kind of get to know a little bit about him. Again, it's really personality based. Like, I don't think I'd look at a person and think like that would base my attractiveness to them. Like, I feel like you can find someone attractive from their personality. Do they have to have a certain level of looks though to begin with? Like, are there some guys out there that? Yeah, I feel like looks only get you really so far. Like, if you ha if you're really really attractive and then you have like a shit personality, yeah, looks kind of just don't really mean much. But then what's the deal with bad boys? Because these are stereotyped. Has, I believe really attractive but 
bad, sometimes negative personalities. I feel like it's the unattainableness that's attractive. It's like, it's a bit of a chase, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I feel like, yeah, definitely in the past it was very attractive. I'm not opposed to it now, but like, I feel like I see that you probably need someone a lot nicer than the bad guys. You've dated the bad guys in the past, but you're past that phase now. Um, yeah, I try to be. But it's kind of <laughs> hard to like not fall for it. Yeah, I feel like you don't even date them, do you, really? Because they just mess you about. <laughs> All of them start off as nice guys. So what if a guy genuinely is nice then? How would you be able to distinguish him? The thing is, they need to be slightly mean for me to find them attractive, but they actually do need to be, like, nice deep down. Out of the four options for this guy, what are you saying? Either one night, date long term, friend zone or never? Friend zone. <coughs> never. <coughs> friend zone. Okay, so no positive responses for this person. I'd date, I think. Date long term, and you? Yeah, if you got on, like, a house on fire, date him. <laughs> <laughs> you would date him? Yeah. Uh, probably never. <coughs> one night. Um, date long term. Um, probably one night. <laughs> Probably one night. Oh, I initially thought you was going to say friend zone. I'd give him a chance. I'd probably go on a date with him and give him a chance because, you know, why not? But I, I'd have to see how it goes. Yeah. So you'd have to get to know him first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd give him a chance with a date, but then, you know, you don't know how it's going to go from there. Exactly, yeah.